Hey everybody, this is James Wallace with Transit. We're back at you guys with our next installment of the video vocal percussion series, Rhythm and Motion. And what I want to talk about today with you guys is what I just generally call tom rolls. And if you remember from previous videos, we learned how to do a very general tom sound, the kind of the do tom sound, the do, 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 sound like that. And what we're going to look at today is rolls on these instruments, on, the, on these toms, which are generally used in a fill capacity, but they can also be used uh, during uh, the main beat or the main pattern uh, of whatever sequence you're doing. So again, we're looking at those tom rolls today and how you achieve that, largely for fills, but also for, for the regular part of the beat if you want to. All right, so there are three ways that uh, I, I most often use and am most familiar with for doing these rolls. The first is just what I call a DB roll. And that's essentially trying to achieve, trying to use this, the D and the B letter sounds to get your tom fill sound out. So it's basically like this. And as you can tell, I'm vocalizing this, just alternating between Ds and Bs. And they're short, compact sounds that you want to get together and you want to just build up, start slowly, build up so you can do them faster until you can put them into a roll kind of pattern or a roll kind of fill. So again, what you're doing with the DBs is like this. All right. The second way to think about these tom rolls is very similar, but just going to call it a DG uh, uh, method, and that's essentially uh, a little more guttural, a little more in your throat, and you're just going to think about DG alternating back and forth like this. <laughs> Basically the same usefulness as the DB, you're just going with the DG, and it's a little more guttural, a little more back in your throat, and for some people this way feels a little bit better. The third way I like to think about uh, is actually what I call BDG. All right, and that um, that goes a little bit like this. As you, obviously with this sound, there are three different sounds instead of two alternating sounds, and you'll pretty much always use this in a triplet uh, feel uh, to get your 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 pattern or your fill going. And you can also apply that triplet to the DB and the DG, and I'll show you that in just a second. But again, for the BDG, what you want to think about is this. And again, make it a short, compact sound. So you really want. As I mentioned a minute ago, these are tom sounds. So you are going to be vocalizing these sounds, whether you're doing the DB, the DG, or the BDG. And what you want to get with these, again, is to a place where you can put in a, a kind of a rolling fill or put in a short uh, maybe triplet or something like that into a regular pattern. So again, we have our DB, our DG, and our BDG. You can try all three of those. You can see what works best for you, what feels best, what you're able to put into a pattern most easily. Again, for me, uh, the easiest thing and what comes most naturally to me is the DB sound, and I usually put those into some sort of uh, basic triplet sound like this. Like that. You start slow, build your way up until you're going faster. All right, so work on that, everybody. The Tom fills, and uh, we'll see you next time on Rhythm and Motion.